What is going on everybody? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team bundle opening video. Guys, I have what well, it should be a 40 bundle, but I accidentally opened up an extra pack. So I'm gonna make that up to you guys. I'm gonna go out there and purchase a pro pack and make it a, an even 40 bundle for us today. Uh, but what I'm gonna be trying to pull today are some of the golden tickets that are in the game. Um, obviously, there is a Reggie Bush movers card as well that I'm really looking forward to try and pull. There's a Troy Polamalu, I believe, still in the game right now that you can pull. So I'm going to try and get some of these great cards that are in the game right now, guys. We got 40 packs from the Easter bundle still. Um, and I'm going to turn off the uh, the notifications here. Sorry about that stuff popping up on the screen, guys. Uh, I usually turn that stuff off before I start recording. But you know how it is. Sometimes you forget. So uh, with that being said, guys, let's go in here and uh, open up a pro pack. And then, like I said, we're going to open up 39 more of them. This should be it. Uh, this should give us some good opportunity to actually get something decent here today. So hopefully our pack luck turns around just a little bit. We've been having some kind of rough luck, to be honest with you, uh, in terms of pack opening videos recently. So hopefully we can get something good here. Uh, and our first card here out of the packs, Dominique Davis. Um, and we're going to move along here pretty quickly. We get a broad jump for Tyron Matthew. At least that's worth something. Uh, that'll at least pay for this first pro pack. So that's not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead here and I'm just going to quick sell all of the, uh, the smaller stuff if I can here. I'm going to try and go through it quickly. Uh, and then, like I said, guys, we're going to go through here and we're going to open up the entire bundle that we have here saved up and try and get ourselves one of these rare cards, either the golden ticket, one of the 24 hour cards, something like that would be amazing. Uh, it would really be great to pull something like that. So let's keep going here. Dion Buchanan, uh, not really anything in this pack, unfortunately. And uh, guys, if you're watching this over on YouTube after the fact, I want to know what you guys are actually pulling in some of your packs as well, because uh, man, I know a lot of people have been saying that, especially on PlayStation 4, which is the console that I play on. People just aren't getting good stuff in packs, and I, I don't know what the deal is with that. I wonder if there's like some sort of a, uh, like I, I don't know, some sort of like an anchor on on PS4 right now or something. Or I, I I really have no idea. I have to imagine that most people like the PS4 has to be the the console that most people are playing on, and doesn't it? I mean. So, I mean, you would think more people would be pulling stuff on PS4 if more people are playing on PS4, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know what the deal is with that. But, yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments section, or if you guys are watching right now over on twitch.tv forward slash TV, let me know uh, what you guys are getting in your packs as well. And we're getting a, we get a, a bonus pro, a pro pack, so that's okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be an elite, but uh, either way, we'll at least take that. Still not a whole lot here in any of these packs. A lot of 60 overall cards. Uh, we'll quick add this to the set here. Get ourselves that free pro pack. So this is going to actually be a 41 pack bundle for you guys. Unless we get more of these uh, bonus packs. Let's continue to look here. Look at the faces on these guys. Adam Podlish looks like looks like a damn child molester. Matt Veldman looks like... I, I don't know. He looks like freaking Landry from Friday Night Lights. Dude, these packs are just ass cheeks, man. So many just trash packs. So, so many. And just jack shit in all of these packs. We're trying, guys, we're trying our best here to get something decent out of these packs. But, whew, Madden, man. Madden just does not want to give us anything good in packs lately. It sucks. Oops, I almost sold that uh, Danny Woodhead. Not that that Danny Woodhead's worth anything, but I usually keep all my golds. I usually try and keep all of my golds. <clears throat> and just nothing out of any of these, dude. So we're getting, uh, what are we, probably almost 10 packs in here, and we still haven't even really pulled anything decent. I don't think we've even pulled an Elite yet. Uh, we got that bonus Pro Pack, but I, I wouldn't qualify that as being an Elite card, even though it was red. Still just nothing in any of these packs, guys. I mean, EA's got to, at some point, help us out, you know? I was talking about this in uh, in the stream just a few minutes ago here before I started recording this video. I feel like it, there needs to come a point where, like, let's say you're brand new to, uh, to Ultimate Team. Let's say, for whatever reason, you were like me last year, where I actually started playing Ultimate Team in, like, late January, I think. Um, uh, now let's imagine for a second that you were just starting to get involved in, in Ultimate Team right now. 
it would be so difficult for you to actually compile a team that's good. Just uh, like even when I say good, I'm talking like a 90 overall team. It, it, it takes so much time, so much money to even just be able to do that right now because these pack odds are so terrible. I mean, you would think that at some point EA is going to turn this around and, and give us better odds. I'm at least pulling some base elites or at least pulling some of like these all rookie players or things like that. It just doesn't look like it though, man. It just doesn't look like it as we get just more crap on crap on crap in these packs. I don't think I've pulled a card worth what? I guess I got that Tyron Matthew. Uh, I take that back. was a collectible in the very first pack that we opened. I think that's the only thing that I have pulled so far that's actually worth a pack. So, I mean, we're talking like, what, more than 10 packs now, I think, at this point. And we haven't pulled anything of any significant value. So, it's not very good so far, guys. But we're still we're still pulling. We're still pulling. We still got a chance here. We're not going to lose complete confidence here, but, I mean, it's definitely looking rough. And by the way, guys, um, I always keep my 70 or above silvers just because I don't know off the top of my head which one of them are rare. Uh, and, and usually all the silvers that are above 70 overall are, um, I guess, what I'm saying is, like, if it's a rare silver, it's pretty much always over 70 overall, so I just keep it just in case. But, um I know a lot of them aren't worth anything, and, and you guys are probably wondering why I keep them. It's just because, like I said, you know, like this here, Tom Crabtree. I don't know if that's worth anything. Probably not, but it could be. So we get a Muhammad Sanu. I guess I skipped through that pack. I usually quick sell now, but um, I mean, I guess some of these things are at least in packs. So, okay, so at least we get our first freaking elite here. Joe Barksdale, Road to the Playoffs. Nothing special at all. Uh, if you guys are watching right now over on Twitch, uh, you can go out here and pick this one up for yourselves. If this will help out your team at all, I'll put it out there for 100 for you guys. Um, let me know if you guys win that. Tweet that picture at me if you want. Or uh, just let me know in the comment section on the uh, on the Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash TV. if you guys won that thing for 100 coins. Let's continue to look around here, though, in these packs. All we're really looking for, guys, is one of those... Those high overall cards, one of the rare cards, something like that. It's just not happening for us right now, man. We just, ugh. All right, is anybody else having this bad of luck? Because I feel like, uh, like I'm having some just terrible luck in these packs. Like, it's not even really anything worth talking about in these packs, dude. Like, tons of 58 overall cards, 63 overall, 65 overall. Like, dude, come on. Help me out a little bit here, Madden. Help me out. Make Let me get a video up where I actually pull something decent so I can at least give you guys a reaction. Like, I, I mean, I, I can't even react to this stuff. I really can't. It's brutal. It's brutal. Just more complete shit. And, yeah, just just nothing. Nothing at all. And, yeah, just, whew, man. I, like, I, I wish that I could comment more on these things, but it's just, these things are just rough. Look at all those 60 overall cards. Like, literally no one can use them. Like, they're completely unusable for anything. I don't even understand why there's so many of those freaking cards in the game that are just that terrible. And I know, I, I talked last, it, it, like when uh, when Madden 25 was out, I talked about, I don't want everybody to have 99 overall teams. But at this point, I mean, you pretty much need a 99 overall team. Sorry about my, my alarms going off there. Um, you pretty much need a 99 overall team or, or a high 90 overall team to, I mean, compete with people at this point in Madden. It's so ridiculously difficult to compete if you don't have a, a high overall team. And we get Jeremy Mincy, at least we get a Team of the Week card. I don't think that's worth anything, but, I mean, at least it's a different type of card. At least we're getting something here. At least it flashed green for us instead of just gold and, and bronze and silver. These things are so rough, man. I, I really hope you guys are having better luck in your pack openings than I am. I know we're just ripping through this thing, just trying to trying to get something decent here, man. Just is not happening though. 
I mean, this is not making me very confident for pulling a Game Changer bundle, I'll tell you that much. If, if I was determining whether I'm going to open up a Game Changer bundle based on what I'm getting here, it would not be happening, I'll tell you that much. Actually, I think, is that Sua Filo guy worth something? He might be. He might be one of the rare cards. Possibly. I don't remember. So we still do have a bonus pro pack after this, but, like, dude, these things are just ridiculously trash right now thank you by the way to everybody who stopped by the stream today and you guys are watching live over on twitch.tv forward slash click with tv thank you guys so much for coming by and watching this just complete ass cheek pack opening we got to be getting down here right i'm gonna look after this pack i'm gonna try and remember to to look got to be getting down here toward the end man and i like i just i can't even uh all right, after this pack, I promise I'll look. I can't even, like, look at these things right now, dude. They're just so terrible. Like, I just want to puke looking at these things. Let's open up this pro pack real quick. Our bonus pro pack. Come on. Damn it, man. Robert Ayers. Yikes. These are some rough, rough packs, man. So somebody got that card for 100. We have two pro packs left after all this. I have opened up what? I think one elite. I, I got the Tyron Matthew collectible, so if you want to count that, I think I think I have two elites in this entire 40 pack bundle. And EA is just going to is just going to act like that's legitimate, I guess. Okay, so we get another Tyron Matthew broad jump. So, okay, so two of those Tyron Matthew broad jumps, I know those are at least worth like I don't know, like 8 to 10k, something like that. So, I mean, I can't complain about those. But, dude, like, every other pack has just contained nothing of any value whatsoever. Absolutely just ridiculous. All right. So, click through it. And nothing. Absolutely complete and utter trash, man. These packs could not be any worse. Could not be any worse. I mean, you're talking like there's there's a good amount of stuff to open up in packs right now. We got nothing of any value whatsoever other than like the what the um the little broad jump collectible. I got two of those and then I got like a I got one elite card. One in forty packs. Actually forty one packs, technically speaking. Forty one packs, we got one elite card. This is Madden Ultimate Team at this point, ladies and gentlemen. What can you say? I mean, truly, what can you say? There's no, there's no reason to open up packs. And people wonder, why? Why are so many Madden YouTubers going away from opening packs? This is why. I mean, to be honest with you, you go out here and you look at the fact that if you spent 40000 or if you spent, if you actually bought those all of those packs with coins, okay, you bought 40 packs, you're talking just, I mean, just conservatively speaking, because, um, you know, 7,500 times uh, times 40, what, off the top of my head, it's it's 280,000 plus what, I'm trying to, trying to do the math in my head right now, um, but uh, plus another 20, so roughly about 300,000 coins, it might be exactly 300,000 coins actually, um, to do, if you were to actually have opened up those, three, that, like if you were to spend the, the coins to open up 40 packs, 300,000 coins, and that's what you get. And people wonder why these people aren't opening packs anymore. Because, I mean, that's what you get. It's it's crazy, man. So, I mean, to me, if, if you're out here and you're wondering what's the best option for you guys to do, go out there and just buy the cards that you want. Save up uh, and, and buy the cards that you want because the odds of you actually pulling something good in this game are so ridiculously low that it's not even really worth discussing. I mean, if I didn't do YouTube, I, I'm telling you guys, I would not be opening up packs. The only reason that I really open up packs is because I know you guys want to watch them. That's it. 
I, I understand the pack opening odds in this game could not be worse than they are. It's crazy. So, uh, I, anyway, I, 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 that's my little rant for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though it was just terrible and we got nothing of any value. But, I, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I hope you guys uh, understand why I've been gone for a little while. I've been sick and, and my dad's passing. It's been, it's been tough for me to get on here and really want to do any YouTube videos or really do anything like that. So, I hope you guys understand. Um, but uh, with that being said, guys, I am going to wrap up today's video. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll be back again for another video in the future. We'll be doing some gameplay stuff, of course. Uh, and I will try and do more pack opening videos as well. But it's it's really difficult for me to get ex excited about doing pack opening videos when stuff like that happens. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.